Hi, this is Michael at TV Radio 1972, and today I am reviewing the Radio Shack DX375 AM shortwave FM stereo receiver. I bought this for $34.65 plus tax on eBay after using a 10% off coupon because it was my first ever purchase from there. And speaking of first, the reason why I bought this radio is because my first shortwave radio happens to be this radio here. I got one back in the early 90s from my parents as a present, around 92, 93 approximately. And I had it for a few years. Unfortunately, it stopped working after a few years. But I did have some fun memories uh, tuning this radio back then. And that's why I bought it. I wanted to relive those moments. So, I'm going to give you a size comparison. I'm going to use portable rails because the other rails would be too big and wouldn't fit the screen. So, here's the Sanjin DT400W right here. And the Texan PL606 here now dimensions are seven and a quarter inches in length four and three quarters of an inch in height and a depth of one and a half inches it has a 27 inch antenna and a speaker of about two and a half inches so I'll show you what's on the radio the Radio Shack logo is right here. Then you have your speaker grill here, which is why I'm estimating a two and a half inch speaker in there. It's very hard to see from this spot. Then on the top, you have a tuning light here, and I'm going to turn it on just to show you. The tuning light. When there's a strong station, you'll see that tuning light up here. And it says that the radio's on FM 87.5 megahertz. And then the AM band is basically just AM and kilohertz. That's the only difference. And then on shortwave, you have shortwave broadcast band, shortwave, and the killer's frequency, and on here, when you have a memory, you can press these buttons to go through the memories. So that's what's on the LCD display here. Shortwave broadcast band, and it lists all the bands between 120 meters and 13 meters on this radio. Then you have your manual and auto tuning buttons here. Single press, you manually tune. Long press to auto-tune up or down with these buttons. Then you have your shortwave select, which will take you through all the shortwave broadcast bands. Then you have two memory buttons, one to store your memory. Basically, if you're on a station, you press store, and then you put whatever key you want, whether it's one, two, three, or zero. So basically, it's uh, 10 memories per band for a total of 30 memories. And then you can also scan through your memories as well by pressing this button. DX375 AM shortwave FM stereo PLL synthesized receiver. And then your keys are here. You can use this to direct access your memories or... You can use them to key in your frequencies. Uh, you can press enter, and let's say on FM you put 98.7, enter, that's 98.7. Or on your AM, you wanted to put in 1230, so it would be enter, 1, 2, 3, 0, enter. And then your band button goes to your band's FM, AM, and shortwave by pressing this button. And then, on this side of the radio here, you have your volume. Now, from this angle, it's a little off, 
because you have to go down to turn up the volume and then go up to lower the volume. So that's how they made it. And then your tone control switch here, high, low. I'll keep on high for now. Although when I DX, I usually use the low tone. And then high tone, you know, if you want your FM stereo. So that's good for that. And then go to the back. You have your kickstand here. Pretty sturdy unless you manhandle it. It'll come off, but otherwise it's a pretty good stand. You have your vented case here. And then you have information here. You can pause and look at all that information. Now, as far as frequencies are concerned, AM is 530 to 1710. Now, it says FM 80 to 108. It's actually 87.5 to 108.1. And then shortwave is 2.30 to 21.85 megahertz with a gap between 6200 and 7100. Uh, so, there is a gap there with no frequencies in between those. Now you have your uh, battery compartment here. Uh, it's not hinged, but it has a ribbon here, and it holds two C batteries. Now, inside this battery compartment, you go in, there's an AB switch. The A switch is for 9 kilohertz on AM and 100 kilohertz on FM steps the b button the b switch is 10 kilohertz am 200 kilohertz on fm and then the polarity uh the batteries the positives go to the left and it takes two c batteries it also takes a power adapter of three volts dc 300 milliamp hour with the tip being negative. So you can operate with DC or batteries. Now, you have your wrist strap on this side of the radio. You have your sensitivity DX local switch. Headphone jack. A headphone experience. Um, uh, FM stereo. So you will get stereo when you plug in Headphones for FM. There is a little low-level hiss at no volume, but it goes away once you raise the volume. When it's at no volume, you'll hear a little hiss. With volume, there isn't. And then DC 3-volt jack for your AC adapter. Nothing on the bottom. And then on the top, you have a lock-in switch here. You have a sleep button here which will put the radio to sleep. I don't know for how long because uh, it did, I don't have the manual. Uh, although uh, there are manuals available online for this radio, uh, but I only got the radio with it. And then your power button here to power the radio, and then your 27-inch antenna here. It's You can lock it in here, and... It pretty much swivels 360. Now, it's a little tough. That's why I really got to be careful with this antenna. I just want to... Oh, wrong way. I like to keep the screw out here. And then it locks in place. Next, uh, we're going to go to the FM. Now, uh, I've already done band scans for both... FM and AM, so I'm not going to do full scans. Let us show you how the FM radio operates. So I'll put the antenna up. Press and hold to turn it on. Now I'll show you the steps. Um, you can seek tune or auto tune by long pressing. It'll go to the next strong station like this. Or you can scroll down to the next strongest station. But it mainly works for strong stations, uh, not for weak signals. But 
it's good to tune. And then you can manually tune by single pressing like this. And it'll go through the frequencies like that. So right now, I'm going to play 87.7 WNYZLP, New York City. Excuse me, WNYZLD. They changed the call letters because it's now a digital TV signal, but it still allows under special license to transmit a radio signal on FM. Hmm. Dead air. So, um, I guess in that case, um, what I'm going to do next is go to a memory scan. I'll press the memory scan button right here, and it'll go through the memories. It's mostly talk, but there's a couple music stations in there. So what I'm going to do is press number one here. Oh, the final December show set for tonight and Sunday. Earlier the... Blessed angel came, and I'm too sad. Um, the capital in Accra, and then I think the second... Reiner in a dramatic high-level prisoner exchange that brings... In, in recent years. I mean, what? Philosophical and probable. He wanted to know Jesus Christ. But you do know, Paul is saying. Don't you know this? And. To go release of its sequel, The Way of Water. Now, it oh. will skip over a memory in which May. Not be a strong signal. That's why it skipped over a couple of them. So, for example, 103.9, for example. I think that's preset number 9. Yeah. I have to angle the antenna a little better. It's 90 Red Eye 866 Let's go to Jeremiah in Tennessee. Oh, and by the way, that's WFAS-FM. Talk FM 103.9. Bronxville, New York, which will be sold to VCY America. I just found this out a few hours ago at the time of this recording. It's going to become a traditional Christian station. Probably with a call letter change, but uh, there's no date in which they're going to change the format or close the sale. But right now, Cumulus is selling WFAS-FM to VCY America. So, I figured at least... Give you a little sample of this. It's, something, it's a part of life. However, what I'm most shocked by is why in the last two or three years our government has made it a point to shove that down everyone's throat. Now, I'm going to key in a couple of stations to see how far I can get some DX signals. I, I get some pretty far away stations, not that far, you know, up to 60 miles with this radio, so... Under normal conditions, so I'm going to try 104.7. Yeah, a bit of a noise floor on 104.7, but that's WSPK Poughkeepsie, New York. I'm going to try 106.3 next. That's uh, WFME FM, Mount Kisco, New York. And then I'm going to try 101.5, New Jersey 101.5, WKXW, Trenton, New Jersey. So, uh, yeah, so it does get some distant stations, um. Uh, now, one problem with this radio, it does tend to overload if it's strong next to strong stations. Uh, 94.7 is a good example of that. It, it might bleed over 94.9 or 94.5, but otherwise, uh, it gets stations pretty good. I'll give you an FM reception report. So, um, I got 54 stations. 
So that's pretty good. 42 okay to good in 12-week signals. So it is capable of getting some distance stations or at least your semi-local stations. So I don't know how this does in e-skip or tropo. I haven't tried it yet because um, we're not at that time of year. So um, that's uh, the FM. Now we're going to try the AM. So... What I'm going to do is tune it at AM here. Now, this is an example of overloader imaging. This station on 530 is WNSW, Newark, New Jersey, on 1430. But since the transmitter is about two to three miles away, it'll image on 530. Roe versus Wade is behind us, but many states still allow the killing of the unborn. Join Relevant Radio as we continue to pray for an end to abort and commit to supporting moms See and that? babies. Just Add a slightly weaker signal by clicking on the memorandum on 530. at relevantradio.com. This is Bishop Kevin Rhodes of the Diocese of Fort Wayne, South Bend. This also happens on strong shortwave stations as well. Mainly during the day, I've had that happen as well on shortwave. Not so much at night because there aren't as many strong signals at night on shortwave, but uh, it does happen at times during the day on shortwave. Now, I'm going to just show you a brief scan up the dial. It mainly gets your strong stations to lock in in an auto scan, but if you tune up and down, then you'll, you'll get those distance stations on AM. And I'm going to do a memory scan, so... I'll go back to 660. And say hi to the general manager, Doug Wells. Connecticut's best value is at Town Fair Time. There was an effort to genetically engineer this type of his family. And growing up, they would come home. To them to work. He came to us years ago. Uh, we feel very confident that our agents are going to provide and more on those horn frogs coming up. How did TCU... ...that people are worried about growth uh, for next year. And resume writing, uh, mock interviewing, we have parenting... I want to mention something I said earlier. One of the latest pieces... ...just to regurgitate information... That yeah, I missed a couple of stations like many people still leaving, not just this Ghana, one, Nigeria, Zambia, Zimbabwe, uh, Malawi, WNYC, coming in New York City. New York City. The situation and the uh, problems you described. Thank you. Is Phoenix Mercury All Star Center Brittany WCBS Griner is at home now after being held in Russian prison since February on drug charges? For any White House prisoner swaps can be complex diplomatic maneuvers, and this. And I'm going to try to key in a few distance stations. Let's try 1080 first. WTIC Hartford, Connecticut. Blog, right? In WBAL, you know, Baltimore, Maryland. The pictures of her getting thinner, and she's being subjected to abuses. And Caused by Roundup. WTAN, Cleveland, Ohio. These diseases or disorders, including cancer in the gut microbiome. WBT, Charlotte, North Carolina. We did one other thing. We took these four based probiotics. That's OKTA.com slash Fed ZERO Trust. Welcome back to the Federal Insight Series, Modernizing Citizen Experiences with Cloud Identity, sponsored by Okta here on Federal News Network. WFED, Washington, D.C. WLAC, Nashville, Tennessee. WWKD Buffalo, New York. Well, look, Mariota, they didn't give Marcus Mariota a chance. Marcus Mariota. Simply to play the music you love. WCKY, Cincinnati, Ohio. And ask Congress to support local radio stations. Help us keep you connected to the music, local news, weather, and traffic that you need each day. This message furnished by the National Association of Broadcasters. I'm Will Salva from Good. 
radio station WQFG 689, owned and operated by Hudson County, New Jersey. We are currently experiencing technical difficulties and continue to work on correcting the issue. Yeah, WQFG 689, Jersey City, New Jersey, currently operating 100 watts, and they've been playing this message for the past few months. Not sure when they'll go back to normal programming, but that's just a sample of the AM. And what I'm going to do next is give you an AM reception report during the day. 46 stations, 30 okay to good in 16-week signal, so it is pretty good there. And at night, 90 stations, 50 okay to good 40-week signals. Now, now one of the flaws with AM, like I said before, is overload. Or if you're next to strong stations, I'll just briefly show you 770 as an example. Now, this was a car that was... He even bleeds over Zoomer Radio. That's how far the bleed over is because this 50,000 watt transmitter is four miles away. And that's a country station, WSBS. I think it's Crew. Virginia, I've gotten this one before via DX. I know they get CKLW, but I'm getting this station now. So, yeah, it's pretty good on DXing, I can tell you that. And now I'm going to go to shortwave. And I'm already 22 minutes in this video. So what I'm going to do is put up the antenna and hook a, hook a Texan AN05 antenna they got from Amazon a while back and I'm going to hook it to the top here of this radio here I'll put in the second one I think yeah oh going to put it down a little more yeah you can't see it but I hooked it on and I'm going to do a memory scan there about the royal family because like it or not it's a table of my own when it's his church Yeah, it skipped over a few stations because of the weak signal because propagation changes at times. CHU Canada. WWCR, Nashville, Tennessee. WWCR, Nashville again. Rayo, Vanna, Cuba. WRMI, Okeechobee, Florida. Something on 9410. Take us through who exactly decided to close the port. Hmm, that might be BBC World Service. I'm not sure. And then something on 9700. WWV Fort Collins, Colorado. Pretty good on shortwave, uh, depending on conditions. So, um, it does pretty well on all three of the bands. Uh, just a little problem with overloading from strong stations. But, uh, 
it is good enough to get those, uh, and sensitive enough to get those distant stations. It's a selectivity which is not quite as good, but, but good enough because of sensitivity. And that is all. So, my final thoughts on this. Uh, I'm very satisfied with this radio. Uh, I'm glad I got it again. Now, would this be my first choice of a radio today? No, because I have a PL660, an Eton Elite Executive, and a little spoiler alert. I ordered an XH Data D808, which I found on Amazon at a reduced price. Uh, I'm supposed to get it within a week or two, between the 14th and the 19th of December. I'm recording this on December 9th. So, I ordered it, and I may end up using this radio more than this one, but I've been using this quite a bit. Now, I'm still using the PL660 from Texan for my medium wave DXing. So, my final thoughts. I'm very satisfied with this radio. I like it. Overall, it, it kind of has a sentimental value to my heart because this was my first ever shortwave radio. So, if you like collecting Radio Shack radios or even vintage radios and general, uh, if you can get this for under $40, I'd say uh, go for it. I recommend this radio. Now, in comparison to today's radios, is it quite as good? It's good enough. Doesn't compare to the PL660 Texan PL660 or the Eton Elite Executive. I'm probably not even the XH Data DAOA that I'm going to get in the next few days. But it's a capable radio and it does a good job of it. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Feel free to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell notification button to be alerted on new videos that I release, whether it's DXing videos, radio reviews, or other stuff. Thank you for watching. Have a good week, everyone, and God bless. Bye-bye.